Hi everybody, it's Sandra from the Funky Pickle Thrifter. We're going to have a look at some cool stuff out of these Women's Home Companion magazines from the 1920s. I'm glad you've joined me today. There's a lot of great old ads in here. A lot of them center around child rearing and cleaning the house and cooking and sewing. Oh, that's great. Yeah, see, look at the difference in 100 years. Look at the flapper. Bobbed hair, short skirts. So women started to really be looked at like serious consumers. Uh, look, oh, look at this great thing. A lot of women also entered the workforce. Hoover, wow, that's great. So a lot of these home chores became easier to do because of things like vacuum cleaners, washing machines, and so on. So there are a lot of long stories in here and a lot of interesting articles, but about halfway through the magazines, we start getting into a lot of, uh, along with the great advertising, of course, but there's a lot of great fashion stuff that we're gonna have a look at here. Royal Gelatin, I think that's still around, right? Okay, so let's take a look at some of the fashions. That is kind of fab. Yes, how modern this clothing style must have looked, right? I mean, how shocking to just have women shorten their skirts, shorten their hair. Whoa, look at that short hairdo. Very, very stylish. I think you could wear that today for sure with that hair also. I love hats too. Look at the shoes. That's awesome. Very cool. Look at the prints. Shawls. French novelties reflecting the modernist influence. Wow. Look at this. That's amazing. Beautiful. Look at the stockings with the seams up the back. Chicago. Almost every blue that one can imagine has marched right back into foreground of fashion for the coming fall and winter. So look them over and take your choice. Wow, that's beautiful. Well, you could wear both of these outfits today. Absolutely. How about these? Oh, those are just darling. Look at that. What are these called? Darts? Darts or pleats? I don't, I don't know if I know the difference. Copperhead browns. Love that. I love both of these. I love the browns. I love the blues. Let's see, what are these? Oh, that's adorable. Look at those hats. Very slim dresses, short skirts, tall and young for girls, thin, medium weight, and stout. Oh, okay. It looks like you can order these patterns. Okay. Yeah, maybe patterns didn't come in these special sizes, I see. Wow, that's a great ad. Check that out. Whoa, look at this. Look at the butterflies. Huh. What is this advertising? Just stuff to wash your clothes, is that it? Now let luck save your hands in the laundry just as it does when you wash out a bit of finery when you wash dishes. Enough in the big package for two average wash days. Hmm. Wow. So there was a lot of economic prosperity in the 1920s. There was just a lot of economic growth and wealth. The Roaring Twenties, right? Oh, that's interesting. I just said that. Pleats for house frocks. Frocks, that's funny. Elizabeth Arden. Whoa, those perfumes are probably worth a bundle. Pretty bottles, right? That's an awesome room. It's great. Let's see, two pieces in one. A youthful one-piece frock for the older woman. Hmm, yeah, that doesn't look that youthful, but <laughs> a bloused back frock. Very pretty, I like that bow. Yeah, that's the way their mothers and grandmothers, that's the way they dressed, right? What a difference between that 
and this. How much more comfortable, right? Whoa, this is awesome. That would look awesome framed. Look at that. Your whole appearance depends on your hair. Mulsified coconut oil shampoo. More than a shampoo, it's beauty insurance. The draped beret. Oh, that's fantastic. Wow, what's wrong with that outfit? Not a thing. A black hat might have a pin of crystal or brilliance at the right side to relieve its somberness. Okay, and then you just send away, I guess, for the pattern. How interesting. Now, a lot of pre-made clothes were sold then too, but people were definitely still making their own clothes. But a lot of women entered the workforce. There were less farmers. People moved to big cities kind of for the first time en masse. Of course, the stock market was roaring. Look at the uh, jewelry here. That is beautiful. I just love all these illustrations. Now that coats have buttons, bags may dangle. Okay, how about this one? Afternoons with Joanna. That's great. Wow. Love it. I love all of those. Fantastic. Beautiful. A fact no woman can afford to overlook. Your pores open and their skin, huh? Madison Avenue has a great way of just trying to make everybody feel like they need improvements, you know? <laughs> I guess that's not a new thing. This is awesome. Muted colors. There is plenty of sparkle to this coat in spite of the fact that individually each of its colors is dimmed. That's a fascinating coat. Look at that. Oh, I love it. Look at the pocket. The little like kind of fringy thing cut out and fur trimmed. Well, fur is certainly not something that people wear too much of anymore, right? Just like ivory too. The marketplace just sort of made ivory go down to, to zero over time. It's kind of interesting. Things change, you know? These are some great ads. Look, look at the leisure time, right? Some wealthy people sitting around playing cards in the afternoon. Psyche's ankles wouldn't pass inspection today. Hmm. Now why is that? And Psyche's beauty may have excited Venus to green-eyed flights of jealousy, but when one considers her ankle girth, she'd never cause the modern girl to miss a heartbeat unless Psyche were onyx point text. For Psyche's ankles are fat. They would be as much out of place on a country club porch today as a bustle or a Lego mutton sleeve. I don't know what that is, but she does have slender ankles. Hmm, okay. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> kind of interesting, right? Men judge beauty so differently from women. Look at her, wow, look, horseback rider. Very cool. The largest and most magnificent book of latest styles in America. Oh, how much do you want this book? New York's latest fashions. Yes, please. Look at that dress. Look at that embroidery. Whoa, the fur. So nice. Ooh, that's pretty. Collar and cuff set. How nice is that? Hmm. Painted. That's nice, actually. And yep, you gotta pay for it. Send you the stuff, send you the pattern. What the world expects of women today in society and business demands the discarding of makeshift hygienic methods. Oh, I see. No laundry as easy to dispose of as a piece of tissue, thus ending the trying problem of disposal. Yeah, this was really, really a big thing, definitely. Now, I think these um, were sold in like plain wrappers and stuff, right? 
Um, well, it doesn't say anything. Huh. That's interesting. I know people collect these like crazy if they're vintage, you know? Um, I actually have sold them on eBay before. I found like a whole armful once at, a, at an estate sale and I was a little bit embarrassed like carrying these gigantic um, <laughs> boxes of sanitary napkins up to the place to pay for them. And the woman said, oh, miss, we meant to throw those out. You know, I don't know if you can use those. So I said, well, I, yeah, I collect them. <laughs> so I didn't know what to say. I don't know if I should just say like I sell them, but I remember selling them for a lot of money. So, and you know, people collect everything. It's funny. Hey, enough about that. Look at this unbelievably elegant and beautiful dress. Whoa, look at the jewelry. Look at the bracelets, the ring, the necklaces, earrings. Whoa, that is lovely. Sexy, right? You can see this wood, yeah, the fringy stuff. Whoa, that's really super short. A corset, no thank you. I remember wearing girdles that were like horrible enough. Forget that. Do good looks count for or against a businesswoman? Hmm. Well, I suppose it counts for. Is that what she's saying? All right. I suppose. Are you proud of your blankets? Oh, that's an awesome room. Look at that. Love that. Esmond blankets. Whoa, look at the fur. Well, fur um, pattern. I'm sure that's not fur. This is a great ad too. Look at this full page ad. Lesson oil. French dressing is the most sophisticated of all. Is that true? Wow. Look at that dressing table. That looks more like a fireplace, yeah. In a shallow mantle corner, 51 inches broad, there is a practical dressing table made with two pier ends, shell from top to bottom. That is fantastic. Wow, this one looks sort of more 40s than 20s, but it couldn't be since this magazine is from the 20s. Oh, that's cool. Look at that thing. All right, let's see what's going on here. Whoa, really super short. New York City banded in velvet. Jumper dresses are up to all sorts of new tricks this fall. They are good tricks too. This dress scores on several counts. First, the neckline. Ooh, that is very, very nice. Second, the slightly bloused side and back waistline. Third, the deep band of velvet that lies under the edge of the jumper top, making almost a tunic two-piece out of the frock. Love that. Boston broad tail cloth. Its loose wrappy lines help this cloth coat to give an even more vivid impression of actual broad tail than would a similar fur fabric built on slenderer lines. I don't know what broad tail cloth even is. I'm not sure. See what it says. Its generous cut gives a richness that is in perfect keeping with its jet black material and its stole scarf trimming of gray fox fur. I see. Well, that's very, very nice, but I would take mine in faux fur, thank you. Oh, look at this great coat dress. Pretty necklace, nice short necklace, actually. A crossover coat dress in plaid. Oh, whoa, check this out. Oh, those are completely cute. How cute are those? Look, she has a matching little tassel thing. That is awesome. That is very cool too. Pearls. Satin with good body and high luster surface is used for this hat. The crown is draped to a peak at the top and finished off with a great bow of self material. Hmm. Well, she's a handsome woman. She's also a handsome woman. I think these are the same person, right? Oh, very, very cute. Topside, we transform the bob. Wigs are transformations now and very much the vogue. If your bob's growing out, getting seedy, <laughs> or too informal for your smartest frock, why don't you try one? 
It will be hard to believe that these pictures show you four transformations, but just one girl. Oh, that is so pretty. Look at the lipstick, right, in the bow mouth. The little bow lipstick, like you wanted your lips to look kind of smaller on the edges, and bigger in the middle. Oh, so pretty, look, she, she went blonde. Oh, I guess it's white. The woman who has the courage to dare a white transformation for evening needn't wait for her reward. That's cute. Oh, I see, it's an, it's an ad for a rug. Bird's rugs, okay. Yeah, you can see all these ads are kind of just after that same sort of thing, that wealthy, elegant look. The stock market hadn't yet crashed. I guess uh, prohibition was alive and well, but I think people pretty much drank anyhow, right? I think it was only illegal to sell it, not to drink it, and somehow, I don't know, people found a way. Oh, I love that room. You can really rest in the cushioned depths of a crawler. It looks nice. Davenport's, huh, that's weird. I guess, does that, that's like a pull-out couch, I guess, but it pulls out the other way. They don't pull out like that now, right? Is that what a Davenport is? Space-saving racks for fruits and vegetables. Yeah, we wouldn't really use much like this today, right? Well, maybe, I don't know. Were refrigerators electrified yet, I wonder, or were they still like um, ice boxes or whatever? I'm not sure. Look at the shoes. Those are so great. You could wear those today, I think. I think you could wear any of these today, actually. Well, look at those colors. Helpful heating. Caffey Hag. <laughs> Coffee with the caffeine removed. Oh, was that from the 20s? Maybe even before, for all we know. I don't know. That's pretty cool. Look at that rug. That's probably worth a fortune. I love that bedroom. That is fantastic. How welcome it always is. The magical touch that puts new zest into everyday meals and lifts them above the commonplace. Asparagus. California canned. I don't think I've ever had canned asparagus before. I like asparagus though. Oh, look at this old one. Only an x-ray picture can show whether a baby's bones and teeth are developing as they should. And what should you take? Squibs cod liver oil. I've never had that, but they say it is gross. I think my mother's had it. Oh, Denton's. It floats. Yep, 99 and 44 one hundredths percent pure. I remember that actually somehow. Wow, look at this rug. It's probably worth a fortune too, right? All right, let's move on to another a magazine here. I have five magazines, so I'm gonna have to just pick out the best of the best or this is gonna be a four hour video. Let's see, where should we go? Embroidery, you wanna go to page 60? What else is here? Oh, interior, the porch in summer. Oh, I like all of it. Yeah, here's all the stories and special articles. Those are all in the beginning. Most men ask, is she pretty, not is she clever? Hmm, well, are you for that or against it? Freshness, charm, the enticement of a skin more precious than personality and cleverness. Do you seek it? No, no, we do not. Often we marvel at her, the girl whose only asset is her beauty. She knows so little and says so little, yet serenely attracts everyone to her side. Combine beauty with cleverness, charm with wisdom. Okay, that's a little bit better. This is for Palmolive soap. Note carefully the name and wrapper. Palmolive soap is never sold unwrapped. Foot saver shoes for every age, teens to 70s. Foot insurance for the future. Okay, that's good. They want people to be comfortable. Oh, these are awesome. Look at these tassels for your shades. That's great. I think they're for shades, right? 
Yes, to the simplest of window shades, they add a touch of the individual and they fit in sympathetically with a more elaborate treatment. They certainly do. That's cool. How come we're not making these? Well, I mean, I can't make it because I'm not crafty, but I bet you some people could. Oh, how pretty. Packer's Liquid Shampoo. Hmm, I've never heard of that. Liquid Tar Shampoo. I don't know what that's about. Of Tuscan Net. Darning. Hmm. Not sure what darning is. It looks a little bit like cross stitch, but but not. <laughs> I guess does it go up and down instead of side to side? Is that what it is? I'm not sure. Whoa. Look at this room though. Twin beds? Is a married couple supposed to live there? Hmm. Look at the lamps. How much do you love the pink lamps? I certainly do. Bedspreads and draperies, which harmonize. Oh yeah, they do harmonize. Look at that. That's an awesome room. Your initials on lingerie. Cartouches, they call these new ways of using your initial on lingerie. Well, that's very sweet. That is very pretty, very old fashioned. Yeah, I don't know about, maybe you could wear that today. I'm not sure about that. Maybe, maybe somebody could rock that. This is very pretty. What is this for, a corset? Looks like it. This is interesting. Two caps that stand for freedom. The Liberty cap. Columbia wears on our own silver coins was first worn by the freemen of the ancient Roman Republic to show that they were no longer slaves. The Heinz cap, worn by thousands of Heinz girls, is the symbol of a new freedom, freedom from the toil of the kitchen, that remorseless demand of the family for three meals a day. Hmm. And it has the Heinz 57 thing. Oh, look, this is like the 57... The 57 varieties. They probably don't make a lot of these anymore. Heinz peanut butter, I don't think so. Plum pudding, fig pudding. Dampson plum preserves. Crab apple jelly, ooh. Quince, I wonder what quince is. Huh. Sour, sour spiced gherkins. What's this? What's a chow chow pickle? I wonder what that is. Sour pickled onions. India relish, ooh, I would like that. Evaporated horseradish. Huh, well there's the 57, the 57 varieties, that's interesting. I don't think they sell those anymore. I mean, maybe they do, I don't know. Look at this ad from the 20s. Shredded wheat. Yeah, that's been around a long, long time. With strawberries. Oh, Niagara Falls. I didn't know that's where they were based. I wonder if they still are. No chemicals, right? Just totally free from everything. Not to be outdone, here's a Post Toasties. I think they still sell this, do they? I don't know. Judge cornflakes by using this unfailing test. Post Toasties state crisp in milk or cream. Cream, ooh, I don't know about that. I only like skim milk. Aw. Embroidered dresses, how nice. How cute is that? That's awesome. Very sweet. The French couture is using it for both afternoon and evening. Silk never rustles so satisfactorily as when it swishes fold against answering fold in the manner possible only if a frock's generously cut. How? completely stunning are these. Look at how feminine. Look at those bobs. Oh man, how girly and lovely. Really lovely. If you're young, wear taffeta, a crisp cool mode approved by Paris. Yes, this does look very Parisian, doesn't it? Oh, so nice. Paris hats. 
That's sweet. I love these. What is that called when you like fold it up in the front? Does that have a special name? Wow. So nice. Whoa, look at that. That almost has a little bit of a masculine thing. I love it. This too. Wow, look at this. Very elegant. Wearing the wrong corset. There's the correct posture. There's the wrong posture. Yeah, that's what happens when you don't wear a Spencer corset. All right, we'll wear one then. That's the one we have to wear. How beautiful. Oh, this is the one that I had seen before. Add something Chinese. Look at the jewelry. Look at that. Oh, I want this necklace right there. And this necklace too. That's great. The ring, I think that might be, I don't know who can tell if that's supposed to be a bracelet or a ring. So, so nice. 26 million women wash all their fine things this way from sheer silk stockings to big handsome blankets. Oh, I see more jewelry. I'm liking that. Whoa, <laughs> she's a little dressed up to be taking care of the baby, don't you think? Now they're using Lux for washing dishes. See how nice your hands can look? Nice little pearl bracelet there too, I'm noticing. A new you, shampoo. Huh, all right. Flowers of fabric, silk and cotton blossom like the rose. How nice. Why will so many married women consider themselves so safe? Is it that they are blind or just indifferent to the secrets of appeal which single girls know so well? Yes, you have to wear this. Odor, oh no. <laughs> Is that how you say that? Odor, oh no. There's just one, there is only one way to guard against this dangerous form of unloveliness. Just as the teeth and fingernails, the underarm too must have regular care. Look at this Coca-Cola ad. That is fantastic. Seriously, that's amazing. I know a lot of people have magazines like this and they just take them all apart and they sell them page by page, you know? I'm not gonna do that here, but let's see what else we can see. Five scarves that anyone can make. Well, not me, but that's incredible. This is incredible. These are all gorgeous. Just plain cotton net white or cream is a starting point for a scarf that's rightly named, how do you say that? Gracious. Worked with hand tucks down the middle, a pointed edge, and bow knot filigree of metal ribbon, then budding with satin flowers, the sheer net becomes a fairy fabric, wrapping you round in flattery. Indeed. Indeed. All right, so they'll send you the pattern. Lovely. Ready-mades for vacation days. First of all, what's going on with this powder puff and rubber case? Oh, I want that. Rubber bathing cap, 55 cents. That's beautiful. Bathing suit of black surf cloth with left side ruffles comes with red, green, or white piping. Oh, that is an adorable bathing suit. Look at that. Wow. Breakfast coat of dotted Swiss. Where is that? Is it this? Yes, look at the breakfast coat. Oh, she has a fan. Wow, look at the slippers. Fantastic. I love that. Absolutely darling. Yeah, see, I think this is a refrigerator. I don't, it doesn't look like it plugs in, right? Clean the ice box. The wholesome cleanliness of the ice box is, huh, look at that. Does anybody remember having an ice box or seeing an ice box? I never have. Pecan recipes. 
<laughs> Where does ice come from? I don't know, you tell us, General Electric. Lakes and ponds, sometimes clean and sometimes not. Ah, I see. You got it, all right. Slip into a Bradley and out of doors. I wonder why she's wearing like swimming boots. <laughs> what is up with that? Half your joy in swimming depends on the beauty of your suit. All your comfort rests on its correct proportions. Yes, I suppose that's true, somewhat. I don't know about half, but look at this great old ad. Take a Kodak with you. You'd like to remember a day like this and pictures won't let you forget. True, let's take a look at it. Wow, that's awesome. So let's have a look at this one. That is a very, very cute. Oh, <laughs> they're welcoming the new puppy. How cute is that? The prodigal son. Adorable. Adorable. November 1924. Here's another Bon Ami ad. Let's see, where should we go here? Hmm. All right, let me just go more toward the back. Yeah, I'd like to have this catalog now too, right? The world's largest store. Our big general catalog is the thrift book of a nation. Didn't they say that most people use these in their outhouses or something disgusting like that? Did anybody ever hear that before? I read that once. I don't know. <laughs> it might not be true. The danger line. Hmm? I'll protect your children's teeth now with the danger line. Yeah, that's probably true. Let me try to find the fashion section. Hold on. What 29 years have taught me about cooking a real old-fashioned Thanksgiving dinner in an up-to-date way. That's very interesting. Huh. Caramel sweet potatoes. Fluffy biscuits, mince pie. I want to see what uh, corn oysters are. You will love these and you can fry them in Crisco without any smoke. Corn, flour, egg, salt, and pepper. Beat the egg, add the corn, drop by spoonfuls in deep Crisco. Fry a golden brown. They should be, huh, I wonder how that is. I don't know. Plum pudding, I don't think I've ever had plum pudding, actually. I'd love to try some of these. Oh, look at that chicken pie. Oh, what have we here? Look at this beautiful dresser set. Exquisite amber pyrrolin, particularly favored by fashion. Or the beautiful combinations of shell on amber and ivory on amber. So this is, I believe, uh, celluloid. This is not ivory, amber, shell. I mean, it might be those colors, but this is just plastic. How interesting. I don't know how long they made this. Now I think this is celluloid, but a name brand of it and made by DuPont. How interesting, look how beautiful it is. And also look at what she's wearing. How exquisite is that? Nashua blankets. These are very cool. I have sold, um, not Nashua, I can't remember the type of blanket, but I've sold a few of them for like, you know, $500 each. I've done it a few times now, but I've never heard of this name brand. I would like to. I'd like to have that one right there, personally. That's the one I really like. Why not put ready-mades on your Christmas list? Yeah, people were making their own clothes a little bit less these days. How pretty. Hmm. Whoa, look at those shoes. Look at those shoes, the stockings. The ensemble for sportswear. The coat is lined to match the straight line dress. Wow, really classic. Look at the gloves. Beautiful. Still in style, I think. Here's another great old room. Simmons mattresses. Those are definitely still around. Slants from Paris. There are times when two materials are better than one. That is great. Yeah, if I had that dress on with that shawl, I would also be looking in a mirror nonstop. Beautiful. That is beautiful. Look at the fringe on the bottom. 
Paris says. Wow, I love that. Now these are ones you would make. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> That's a real flapper dress, right? So pretty. Oh, here's something I like. Boy, I wish I had that catalog. Look at that watch, 2150, 14 karat solid white gold. Look at that ring, richly pierced. Black onyx and diamond, yeah, onyx was a big thing in the 20s. Here's some lingerie clasps. I think I have one of those. Diamond mounted wristwatch, wow, $59. Ladies diamond ring, $50. Oh, wow, look at his hair. <laughs> Will your hair stand close inspection? Well, if not, you've got to use this emulsified coconut oil shampoo. Maybe we will. Hats have grown up. The higher crown is particularly well suited to the matron. Yeah, that does look sort of older, right? Wow, I love that one with the ostrich. I think my mother told me when she was a little kid, uh, she would get an orange sometimes in her stocking. Like it was just a very, very big deal. We just take them for granted now, right? We could just go to the grocery store and buy a whole bag of them. But back then it was a very, very expensive thing to get. Here is a fantastic ad for clocks. Look at that. These are Sessions clocks. I believe those were from Connecticut. Wow, I've seen these before. This is called a banjo clock, right? Does it say that here? No, it doesn't. Forestville, Connecticut, okay. Here's the back cover. Look at these old Victrolas. Whoa, $150, not cheap. Very, very pretty though. And I think Takis too first happened in the 20s, right? Oh, there's Nipper. Nipper the dog. Rachmaninoff. Interesting. Ooh, I like that. Look at her pearls. All right, so let's move on to this one. I love this cover. Look at this. Gorgeous. Really elegant, really, really gorgeous. Here's an old Campbell's Soup ad. The can hasn't really changed that much, right? Yes, <laughs> Campbell's Soup Kid, even in the 20s, huh? I set the pace and speed and grace to challenge me as risky. It's Campbell's Pep that makes me step. Excuse my heels, they're frisky. That's very cute. Oh, the twins. Paper dolls that grow older. How old are you? They are now seven years old. I love that these aren't cut yet. That is pretty nice. Viet and Tootsuite are Punch and Judy's little French Bulldogs, twins too. They adore going motoring. <laughs> okay. What do you think about this? I'm not sure. You make a dress out of kitchen towels or I guess those are just aprons. Mm, not digging it. What do you think? And luncheon sets. Well, that's cute, actually. Kitchen curtains. Hmm, I'm not sure. Maybe it's just the the towel I don't like. Maybe with a better towel. Uh, not sure I'm digging that too much. Oh, wow. Oh, how much do you love this whole outfit? Look at that. Wow, the boyish mode. The boyish, the boyish mode, contrary to its name, is not too strong-minded or too obtrusively masculine. It goes in for slim hips, to be sure, and eschews fuss and feathers. That is lovely, and it does really look like it would be very easy to move around in. Well, I love that. Here are some ready-mades for hot weather. Oh, how lovely. Nice earrings, girlfriend. Not, what is she doing? <laughs> she is drinking coffee with her ear. 
Mm. Oh, how pretty. Wow, look at that blouse. Beautiful. You can tell that's all like silk, silky, satiny stuff right there. What is this? <laughs> Good looks we have with us the sun. She sees romance fly out of the window as the Freckle family moves in. <laughs> Look at her maid. Hmm, I guess this is supposed to be a funny article. Wow. So stunningly beautiful. Those look very comfortable also, don't they? And this is all handkerchiefs right here. I guess that really was a thing. Look at this handkerchief, red and black chiffon. Oh, very fancy. Oh, that's cute. There's a little cat on that one. Ooh, elegant. Very elegant. There's a sportswear one. Look at the golfer. Look at her stockings. That's pretty great. Oh, look how corny this is. Slighted. The penalty of bromidrosis. Fetid perspiration. <laughs> That's pretty funny. And she sits at the side of the man she adores. She is a picture of charm and beauty, and yet deep in her heart, she suffers because he gives his attention to another. If she only knew that he would care for her were it not for the offense of perspiration. And would you use absent? Oh, I get it. Absent. Get it? <laughs> okay. Well, you didn't really make it. I don't think they're selling you anymore. Aw, you gotta feel bad for her, though. I'm sure she's a very nice person. And what is going on here? Ingram's Milkweed Cream. There is beauty in every jar. That is a little bit creepy, if you don't mind me saying. And here's the last one. Let me find a good page to start from. Hold on. How pretty are they? Look at this. Look at the shoes. Nothing is smarter than flowery silk. It's beautiful. Very, very nice. The twins, the paper dolls that grow older, now they are four. It's really nice that these weren't cut yet. Oh, look, he's a stuffed pig. She's holding a lollipop. Very cute. So I think the 1920s were the first decade where cars became very widespread. Almost everybody had a car, I think, by the end of the decade. They were affordable to most people. Old Chevy. What a stylish car. I bet you it didn't go very fast. It's really stylish, though. And look at the house. It's a great ad. There's a Hoover. Is she vacuuming a rug that's on the wall? <laughs> Ooh, look at that chair. That's probably worth the fortune too. You know, people collect vacuum cleaners, believe it or not. Oh, what is this? Well, any child can have beautiful hair. So this was the 20s. Shirley Temple wasn't until the 30s, right? That really looks like a Shirley Temple situation. There's that emulsified coconut oil shampoo, okay. Oh, horror of horrors. One family scene that can be averted. You've been through it, every woman has. The whole family hungry, tired, the good foods waiting, and then the salt refuses to pour. That sort of irritation ought to be stopped, and it can be stopped by the use of Morton salt. Wow, look at that great old kitchen. Your kitchen furnished as completely and tastefully as any other room. I like to see the dishes in there. <laughs> Who's your manufacturing? Oh, there's a problem going on here. Don't you know, really? Oh, she's got to use Listerine, okay. And, oh, a veal mold. I don't think so. Veal mold should stand overnight in a cold place before slicing, really? It will be a cold day in hell before I will eat that veal mold. No, thank you. Let's see if we can find the recipe here. Um, white mountain mold with what? Two cups scalded milk. What's going on there? Why would you scald milk? I don't understand. <laughs> I 
don't see that thing, and I'm glad, and I'm glad. One young fowl, butter or pork fat? Yeah, people don't usually have pork fat sitting around either, right? One and a half cups potato balls, two tablespoons fat. On top of all that other fat? Hmm. It's probably delicious though. This, not so much. Look at these awesome shoes. Luxurious foot comfort for the homemaker. Oh, I see. Hmm, that's how you clean your house, wearing that, huh? <laughs> Seems a little dressy. Maybe people dress like that when they cleaned, I don't know. How beautiful is this mother and baby? Wow, this is another palm olive ad. You can see here there's that Egyptian influence, right? I think King Tut's tomb was discovered in the 20s. So that's probably what this ad is capitalizing on a little bit. Well, here's something I've heard of before. Like I'm totally with this whole Lysol ad all the way. So we get here. Lysol is also the ideal antiseptic for feminine hygiene. Hmm, that couldn't have been good. I mean, maybe, maybe Lysol was made really, really differently back then. I don't know, let's hope so because now it's like awful. You can't even smell it without like passing out almost. It's so strong. Look at this fantastic bedroom. Look at the green and the pink, right? Oh, I wanna live in this bedroom. A lot of Asian influence in this decoration. Absolutely beautiful. Simmons beds and mattress, mattresses and bedroom furniture. Gorgeous. Their face values make them bestsellers at your Easter Bazaar. <laughs> okay, so you just paint a, paint that onto your egg cup. That is not just painted though. That actually looks like, uh, yeah, that really looks like that is the way the cup was made, but I'm just saying. Oh, this is fantastic. Look at that. Below is a saucy marker for a not too solemn book. Really cute. How do you get these patterns? Are they in here? Uh, yeah. Okay. You need to send away for it, but <laughs> I think it's too late now. Shinola. I thought Shinola was cereal. Okay. Hmm. It's a shoe polish. I didn't know that. Look at these beautiful handkerchief cases, especially that first one. Very, very lovely. Here's another really corny one. I really like that. I mean, I like the graphics. The glistening, shimmering lather is a revelation. So quickly produced, so easily rinsed off. And then how clean, how refreshed. <laughs> Corny, right? It's white, it's pure, it floats. Fairy soap. I don't know, do they still make this? I've never heard of it before. Really corny advertising though. Now what is this kitty coop? Does this not seem good? I don't know. It's a bassinet, it's on wheels, but then... Uh, does it look like there's glass around it or something? I don't know. It seems a little bit like a cage. I don't know, maybe that was safe? as a playpen, I'm not sure. It just seems a little bit odd to me. Stout women dress fashionably, look slender. What is this for? Oh, Lane Bryant. She doesn't look that chubby to me. She actually looks uh, quite thin. So I don't know what you're talking about there, Lane Bryant, if you don't mind me saying. Oh, look at that cozy, cozy place. Oh, there's a problem. Before upsonizing, cracked and sagging ceilings are always a problem. Replastering means muss and dirt and is never satisfactory. Oh, I see, it's a kind of before and after. Oh no, I guess this, they did this side and not that side. I see, ups and board, never heard of it. That's adorable, look at that. Quaint are the prints for spring. That's very nice. The April Fashion Tour Boston, down at one side, but up at the other. Wow, that's a very, very fancy hat. How pretty. 
I wish hats would really make a comeback. I think they're just beautiful. Fantastic, fantastic old Coca-Cola ad. Look at the glamour. Wow. That's amazing. The charm of Coca-Cola is proclaimed at all soda fountains. Refresh yourself. I don't think they use that as their tagline anymore, right? I think Coca-Cola in the early days was made with cocaine, right? Is that true or is that just a rumor? I think it might be true. This is a very cool stove in front of a drape. <laughs> that seems unwise. It's very cool. Red Star oil stove. Huh. I wish I had that stove. Seems a little short, but... I really think it's stylish. Ready-made clothes for sports and other occasions. Oh, look, tennis. Horseback riding. That's great. Oh, those are darling shoes. Handkerchief, what is this thing? A silk hairband, oh. That's very pretty, look at that blouse. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Ooh, I see jewelry, number 17. Imported novelty necklace, beads of bright color with black rondelle between each bead, 30 inches long, bright red, red, bright red lapis and turquoise price, $1. Hmm, I wonder what that looks like. Paris, many rows of stitchery, tucks or braid. Those are all beautiful. You could wear those today, I think. How about this? A white touch is just the right touch. How beautiful. You could see really how these would move when you walked. How nice that would be. Lovely. Oh, that's sort of odd. She's just like sort of casually looking at the bird in there. <laughs> I guess they were trying to get some interest in the ad. It's just sort of weird. Forest Mills underwear. Okay. It's not the underwear we're used to seeing, right? Oh, look at the telephone. <laughs> you know, this is like the little humorous thing, I guess. Let's be thankful for spires and parsley. All right. Here's the London look in 1924. Oh, look, who remembers these? Lane cedar chests. Wow, that brings back some memories, right? It's not enough for a chest to smell like cedar. It's gotta be a real lane, a real lane cedar one. Oh, this is sort of annoying, this. Protect your inheritance. The glorious heritage of the American woman is her splendid, lissom figure, which she retains longer than the woman of any other nation. Are you retaining this precious heritage? You can, and that very easily. Oh, you have to wear the right corset. This is a clever ad in the way that they have this sort of purple background and then they're showing like through their clothes what the corset looks like, but yeah. Her best inheritance is, is that ring. <laughs> Not the corset or the figure, sorry. Making the most of $160 a year. Yearly budget for the woman whose husband's salary is $2,500 a year. So you have $160 to spend on your clothing. Handkerchiefs, $2.75. One negligee, two corsets. One pair of rubbers, one pair of bedroom slippers, two hats, two pairs of gloves. Yeah, so some of these you have to make yourself, but some are ready-made. Kind of interesting, right? Here's the L.A. look. A scarf's the thing. Oh, that is a great scarf. Look at the white. I love that. Look at her sort of defiant stance. Love that. Really cool. Here's some more scarves that are fabulous. Could wear any of these today. What here could you not wear? Wow, that is great. Look at that. That almost has a manly look to it, right? Love it. Fantastic. 
Here's some cool old ads. Brownitone, a boon to the gray haired. <laughs> Look at that cool slipper, the slipper that is gaining friends. I'd like to be friends with that slipper. That looks very comfortable, actually. These are so much fun. I'm so glad that you joined me today. I hope these were interesting. I really hope I didn't bore you to death here. I just really enjoy looking at these old things. Now that I've looked at them, I guess I can just stick them on my eBay page. And I don't know if I'm going to sell them one by one. I'm not sure yet. Oh, that's interesting. It's sort of like a seersucker thing. What do they call it? Crinkle. All right. Very cool. So that's all I have for today. Thank you again so much for joining me. And I really do hope to see you soon. If you want to see more content like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you along for the ride. Thanks a million, everybody. Have a great day, okay? We'll see you soon.